Most senior leaders have one or two key relationships, people who tell them the truth, provide challenge and insight, and or lend a helping hand. Let's hear what makes a worthwhile confidant from people at the very top of a wide range of businesses such as finance, sport, and pharmaceuticals. One of the other characteristics that makes for a good Ajwa is someone who doesn't necessarily want your job, but wants to be close to the decision-making process and to the business that you run. Because of that, it's a win-win situation, and they're always very comfortable to, um, to be with you, to share their opinions with you, but they're never um, a destabilization threat to the business, if you like. Somebody who has a thorough understanding of the business, a love of the business, if you like, an understanding of the culture, but is not necessarily someone who, in my case, wants to be chief executive. I think in every job you need people near you who are candid with you, uh, ranging from your private secretary to your, your advisor to colleagues who will give you honest feedback uh, about how you're doing. Um, you know, in some organizations they use anonymous feedback through 360 degree feedback, that's always helpful. Uh, often the best feedback is the feedback you get on the spot when something's gone wrong or something's gone well. Um, so I think we all need to use every opportunity we can to be open to that sort of feedback uh, and it can come from a whole variety of sources. When I think of one of my key confidants, that was uh, Scott Sherman, uh, who in my view was the best uh, head of HR I ever had in my whole career, whose job, of course, it was to hear and see things that I didn't necessarily see. Uh, and Doug Ingram, uh, uh, who had just been appointed president of the corporation, and uh, he was being groomed as my successor, highly competent individual. And naturally, in such a period of enormous stress and the need to divide up work, um, I was able to help him with things, but of course, especially, valuable was the other way around. So I think very, very important uh, to be able to handle information that seems contrarian and then take it on board as your own and let your colleague know you weren't just being nice, you're just being totally convinced by the power of their arguments. Look, I'm fortunate to have a number of people that I rely on in our organization, members of my senior leadership team, people deeper in the organization, depending on the particular question or challenge at hand. But I also use external mentors and advisors, you know, people that I've had a long-standing relationship who, who were not afraid to challenge me, uh, who, and as I always say about mentors, it's important to have people who are close enough to you to have a point of view and knowledge, but who are far enough away that they can truly bring an objective point of view and not an agenda to the issue. It's clear that having a confidant is essential to leadership success. They allow you to be open to difficult to hear points of view. The best confidants are those that are close enough to you to have a point of view, but at the same time are far enough away from you to give you objective advice. But be aware, trust is key. If they want your job, the best way to trip you up is to give you bad advice.